Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm with my boy William from Beast Auto Detailing. He's in the back. Yeah, yeah. So um, today I got the ZRZ. We haven't really done anything to it. It's been a few weeks, maybe two or three since I got the car. Yeah, it's still completely stock other than the wheels. I haven't touched it at all. I've actually just been using it for like DoorDash and little gigs and stuff, uh, trying to get the most money out of it. And it's already like halfway paid off for itself. So, I already started ordering some parts. I got the wing. It's going to be coming in a couple days. I got a front lip for it with some canards and um, an air intake ram scoop. It's all under 500 bucks, so it's going to turn into a race car for less than 500 bucks. It'll be pretty cool. But before I slap any of those things on, um, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you know I am a terrible, terrible, terrible car owner. Yeah, I'm, I really don't know how to take care of these cars' paints. I'm, a, I'm just so clueless. I've never had anyone teach me. I'm those type of people that will take it through a drive through car wash and just get it all scratched up. What? But as you know, once you step into those higher range cars and you got a nicer car, or just a car that you spent more time on, you don't want to do that. You want to get your car detailed by a professional or someone who knows what they're doing. So today I'm with William. What's up, brother? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up, what's up? My boy Will from Beast Auto Detailing. That's his business. So he's pretty much a professional. At this point, you're a professional. Professional, You've been, right? Yeah. You, how long have you been doing this? Two years. And uh, for, uh, uh, right now, I actually have like six months just working as a business now, making it official. I've been working. I was actually working uh, as a aerospace uh, assembler, fabrication. But now I'm actually dedicating my whole, basically my whole life, my whole passion into this detailing. And actually I'm gonna be teaching Jason today how to detail. And I'm actually gonna be working on doing, um, fixing the headlights. As you guys can see, it's oxidized. And what happened is that the sun basically burned it out and actually we're just gonna take all the oxidation off and make it look new. And we're gonna be actually be working on the black trims. Uh, like I, you can see right here too. On the black trim, it's kind of like the sun as well, it ate it up. And it looks all like grayish, whitish. So we have actually some chemicals that will actually bring this thing back to life. He's being super nice too, cause this is, this looks <laughs> bad. This is like almost as white as the paint. Yeah, and then from there we're gonna be actually, I'm gonna be claying his car. Basically the claying process is basically that, as you as you see like personally, like we our face gets like kind of dirty with, with like oils or nasty stuff or something we, we start breaking out and it's because we have contaminants or we have like like a lot of dirt that's basically just sitting down in our face and that creates pimples and all this kind of stuff and as well with our cars basically with the vehicles and with all the paint as well if you leave like contaminants if you don't take care if you don't clay it every six months or a year uh eventually those basic contamination start building up building up over the time and that what gets your paint to start like peeling off the clear coat starts to peel off because the contaminants have been like eating up the, the basically the clear coat. So that's that's one of the reasons why you should clay your vehicle and get it clayed by professional as well. You guys could do it as a DIYs and anybody could clay a car. Honestly, it's not that hard. But yeah, you have just to be careful, you know, but with not marring the paint. But yeah, I'm gonna be claying the the, the uh, this Honda and bringing it back to life. I'm gonna actually add a protection, uh, Carnuba wax. I'm gonna be using today to basically protect the vehicle from basically this sun that's going to be coming up pretty soon it's going to be a hot summer i can just feel it right now so i'm just going to be doing all this kind of stuff getting a wash getting a prep and as well just protecting the vehicle awesome so yeah so he's going to be teaching me i'll be watching we'll be watching you guys because you guys are here too but we'll be watching he'll teach us a little bit about the install process because i know some of us get nervous when it comes to all those chemicals there are certain ones that you do not want to mess up at all um, I know that there's some that if you leave on the paint, the sun will like eat it up, eat right? It up. Yeah, yeah. I actually worked with one of the cars. Uh, a customer one one time he hit me up. You know, he was like, he, he tried to do it by himself, himself, and he started to use goof off and all this kind of chemicals on to take to remove a vinyl, and he accidentally like left it, uh, like like it, the sun was hitting it, and it started to eat up the clear coat. And from that point, I had to sand the whole car, and it was just a mess, you know. Oh. So don't be doing things if you don't know how to do it, you know. Go always. I recommend you guys to go with your professional, 
detailer out there that knows how to, to, to do things and all this kind of stuff. And yeah, just don't don't risk it, you know. Yeah, you do your research. Do yeah, do your research first. I actually fixed that car, that vehicle. It was it was a, a pain. It was a lot of work to do because it was a Nissan NB 1500 or 1500. And honestly, it was just, it was just a lot of work that I had to put in. But I got it restored. The client was happy, and you know I got paid. That's a good thing. <laughs> but, but yeah, you know just um, just go to professional. Yeah, uh -huh. that's what I recommend. Yeah. Sweet. So. We got a lot of work going around in the background. Sorry, you guys, if you guys can't hear, but Will's gonna pretty much handle this. I'll be talking over, kind of helping you guys guide you through it, but from here, it's pretty much a go. I'll be showing you some of the chemicals he's using too, as well. It'll be good, yeah, we, let's go, let's go, let's do this. Let's do I'm this. I'm gonna start right now with the headlights because if I wash the car and I do the headlights after, I'm gonna be doing double the work, you know? We don't wanna be doing double the work. So I'm gonna be restoring, I'm gonna be taping it. Uh, I'm gonna be taping this whole side, basically the whole headlight to protect the paint. I don't wanna use a sandpaper and start getting the paint because the sides, once you get the sides of the paint, you could potentially take out the, uh, the clear coat in the paint and that's it, you could just ruin the customer's car, you know? So you don't wanna be doing that. You wanna tape all this kind of stuff and get it ready. I'm gonna be using a 2000 and 3000 sand grip sandpaper to be able to remove all the oxidation out of the headlights. And as well, I'm gonna be using a compound from Chemical Guys. Uh, I've been using it, it's, it's been working on me. Honestly, I don't have no, no issue with it. So I'm just gonna be teaching you guys how to do this kind of process, and then from there, we're gonna be washing the car after. Sweet. Right. Let's go. <laughs> Got the license plate off. Too bad we have to have them here in California. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Unless I just leave it off. You heard the man hit him up for masking. <laughs> so once you do this, you want to make sure that you guys, I'm using a 2500 sand gray paper and a 3000. So make sure you guys keep it lubricated, uh, wet as you guys can see. Down. That turns milky right away. It turns milky, yes. Yeah, basically, it's taking away all the oxidation. You just can see. And you guys are trying to see like how it's going to look after, you know? It's always like, it's already like showing you guys how it's going to look. Yeah, way clear. Yeah, way clear. And this this is actually something that you guys should, like, uh, if you guys have this kind of uh, oxidation on you guys' headlights, you guys should get it restored because it could be dangerous out there you know when if you especially if you don't have led lights you could barely see the road don't be do not be trying other chemicals on removing this kind of stuff i, I said <laughs> somebody you seen uh, some basically bug spray and all this kind of stuff which contain contains acid yeah i was gonna say all those tiktok hacks yeah all those tiktok hacks if, if they're not certified detailers or they don't know anything about vehicles then i'll try it out because actually i saw one of my customers on uh, one time uh, he used acid uh, basically the bug spray and he messed up his headlight and unfortunately he had to buy new ones because the acid already ate up the whole headlight the whole basic plastic and as you guys know acid it destroys it's a uh, even myself have to be using gloves when i use acid when i use i use it to basically remove brake dust that is basically stuck on the on the rims i use acid which i just have to use basically gloves to be protected because that thing could eat it eat up anything you know and yeah, just be, just be careful and as well, you know, if any detailers are, are going to be watching this video, always wear gloves and not be like using um, your pure hands on chemicals because you don't want cancer later on the day and, and later on, you know. Yeah, I think that's something we don't think about. We just send it. Yeah, you guys, well, guys want to be But wearing, skin cancer is a big, yeah, I don't Yeah, skin cancer, anything that's cancer right now, it's, it's a big deal, you know. You want to live your life longer, you know. You don't want to die soon. <laughs> It only takes a second to slap some gloves. Yeah. Make sure you guys are always like doing your best job every time. Another thing, another tip for details, you know. Um, if you're trying to make your business as well, you know, right now I'm actually just doing everything on my house. That's how I started detailing as well. I didn't start it with no fancy stuff, no top of the line stuff. Everybody didn't take out a loan and go get a big old building. Yeah, yeah so just, just do what you had to do, you know, start from the bottom, you know. Because eventually people that just start from top, they don't know when problems like come in their lives they're not going to be able to handle it 
And uh, honestly, if you take that, that step of, you know, building your business, you're going to face some difficulties and you'll be able to just like learn how to fix it. You know, when somebody's like, like it skyrockets out of nowhere, you know, which is not bad. But at the end of the day, when those bad times come, he's not going to be able to, he's not going to be able to know what to do. You know, just, just a little tip, you know, so wherever you want to start from, you have a little pressure washer or a little machine, whatever, vacuuming. The interior, just start detailing, you know, start your own business. That's how I started. Basically, I started with my Bissell Pro. I'll show you guys later on which one was it. Right now. But that works good enough to, like, start off? Yeah, it works good enough to start off, you know. I honestly recommend it if anybody's trying to start off. You know, if you want to start with something simple, if you don't have, like, 500 600 or $1,000, uh, the, basically the, the professional line ones, you can start with something with 100 bucks, 160 And it, may, it does a job, you know. Let's see this. This? This is the reason he's cleaning it. You can see all the fog there. Nasty. Over to where he's at and that thing's already looking 10 times better. So right now I hit it with 2,500 to find grid paper. Now I'm gonna go with the 3,000 to refine it. And basically get all the little, basically polish it a little bit with 3,000 grit. And then from there I'm gonna use the compound to restore the headlight. When I finish um, detailing the whole car, I'm actually gonna be adding some ceramic coating. And the reason why I do this I do this as my package, you know, because um, if I add ceramic coating, I assure that my customer gets a uh, lifespan on the headlight, uh, the headlights, you know, because either way, if you if you um, basically get it, get it restored, if you don't have protection on it, it's still gonna be the sun's still gonna eat it up, you know. So I always add ceramic coating on the headlights to basically last longer, and it won't get like oxidized again, you know. It'll take longer for it to yeah, come back. Yeah, two to three years max, you know. That's crazy. Which is better, you know, than, you know. Than two, three months. Two, three months, yeah, correct. Yeah, so make sure you come into someone like Will who's making sure to, like, give you those little tips and add those little things that are going to make your money worth. Yep. Worth what you're spending because you don't want to spend a certain amount to get your headlight clean and then two, three months is back to the same. Whereas you could spend the same amount of money with someone like Will. He would have taken care of you. It took that extra little step and, uh, Made it last two, three times longer. So now the compounding comes in. Pretty good, you know, I, I use this one. There's a lot more that you guys can use out there in the market, you know, there's better ones actually. This, one's, this one actually has worked for me, but I'm actually I'm actually gonna be trying out some new ones, some other headlight restoration um, compounds out there. But you can even do it with um, a cutting, cutting, uh, cutting compound and a polishing, like 3D one and all those kind of products out there that they'll make it work you know they'll do the job so so this is pretty much gonna smoothen out all the little scratches from the sandpaper right that's correct and it's gonna take all the way all the basically the whole pack out of it you know okay so, so. so basically that's gonna be the, like the 50 50 result right there you guys can see Looks way better. I'm actually gonna be getting that. One. That looks insane. That looks like a brand new headlight. There you go. So that's uh, the that's, way it's, that's the way it's gonna look. I'm gonna actually be doing head polishing right here, cause unfortunately the machine won't get it. You know, and I don't wanna. Oh, the corner. Oh, the corner. You know, the little corners. You we wanna be good. You wanna get um a grease right there. So I'm just this is just a little demonstration. And you guys can see what it does, the compounding process. Yeah, here it still looks pretty foggy. You know, it's got that glassy kind of scratched look but then you go over here and this thing looks like brand new and if you compare it to this one this one just looks like a straight butt <laughs> but this one over here looking like a new headlight that's a big difference yeah if you ever contemplated getting your headlight restored just do it because it already makes the car look 10 times better <laughs> yeah <laughs> just the little details you know little, little details matter like they say out there you know little details matter yeah exactly so you guys want to get your guys car detail restored, you guys can hit me up. Yeah, we're yeah. going to drop the link right here. Yeah, I'm gonna, Bam! I'm going to be doing it. You guys can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook as well, you know? TikTok, Instagram, Facebook? Yes, sir. And as well, at Google, you guys can see the reviews that I've been getting. Uh, customer has been satisfied, you know, with the results. Yeah, yeah. I'll post your Google page right here just so they can check it out. All legit. Feel free to look them up. If you're in the North County area, definitely, definitely come through. Um, I don't know anyone that takes care of the cars better than Will. And just like as much knowledge as he has and patience and just, you know, attention to detail. 
this is if you're gonna spend the money on getting your car detailed this is the type of person you want to bring into so yeah all right so will's knocking off the second side right now already looking a million times better you guys all right you guys so we'll just finish the headlights check these out these are crystal clear you can eat off those now so the first thing we're gonna do right now we're gonna be starting with the wheels i just added a little bit of soap just to keep it lubricated all that kind of stuff you know I'm gonna be using iron decal from carpro and then i'm gonna be using um pns brake buster and these are two products that i'm gonna be using on the rims and wheels to be able to decontaminate take all the basically all the basically brake dust from it that gets stuck to the rims so we're gonna be doing that and i got those cheap brakes so you know they're <laughs> dusty as hell they get dusty yeah and then from there i guess we're gonna see what basically iron decontamination does this kind of product is awesome i like it basically it's like a white solution but it's like clear but once it contacts us with uh, any um iron deposits or anything like that um basically it's gonna turn purple and it's pretty cool because it's like an activation it looks like purple it's pretty cool so you guys are gonna see the the, the way that it, this thing works and as well brake buster that you guys have been seeing a lot on youtube and all kind of stuff it works awesome for the wheels degreasing and as well cleaning the wheels non-acid and yeah so we're gonna be doing that right now we're I like to start with the rim first because if I don't start with the tires, then it's going to start dripping all the stuff. So I'm going to be doing with the rims. I'm going to be using the Iron, the Iron X from Car Pro. So you guys are going to see. You know spraying it? You're going to start seeing the activation right there. You see that purple? Basically, that's all the brake dust. Oh, yeah. The, the iron deposits. The brake dust turned purple right away. Yeah, right away. So basically, all the iron the contamin uh, contaminations are turning purple right now as we speak. And then I'm gonna be adding this as well. Brake buster. Brake buster to work on it. We wanna start with the rim, the inside. What's the reason that you want to get iron off of the paint? Basically, what happens if, if you leave like brake dust and all this kind of stuff on it is a painted surface like this one, and either way, it could be any like matte or it could be cerakote coated, all kind of stuff. And brake dust is basically it could start eating up all the, the basically the paint that the, the clear has. So, uh, it, this one is painted and it has clear coat, so potentially it could start like eating eating the, it up and it's like leave even rust. It's like a, uh, a little bit of rust can start building up. That's the reason why you want to use some iron decontamination to remove all the particles that are contaminants on the paint. Something I've noticed too is when I have like new wheels. Yeah. Like how you said, since it doesn't have any contaminants, um, everything just washes off really easy. Really easy, yeah. But when you have like, as the time passes by and the rims get older and the contaminants start getting stuck, yeah. It's easier for like new contaminants to get stuck to it and they, they get dirtier so much easier. That's correct. And as you guys can see right here, uh, I did a little demonstration. I'm using the PNS, but as well I'm activating the basically the iron the um iron X. And you I mean, can see it turning purple down here. Yeah, turning purple. That's mean that meaning that it's basically dissolving it and just getting it away from the paint surfaces. That's sick. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and then if you guys have any questions, anything like that, you wanna hit me up on Instagram. Yeah, I'm actually mostly on Instagram the most and you guys can ask me any questions If uh, you're detail you have questions and you're pretty sorry enough Let me know and I got you, you know, I can teach you guys some little tricks here and there Especially if you're not if you don't have any deionized water because I think that's one of the biggest problems right now When you're starting a business, you don't have all this kind of stuff, you know, you don't start with the top of the line stuff But you could build yourself all the way up and I, I could have some I have some tricks up my sleeve if you get water spots or anything like that, you know. Sorry. This one's really purple, you guys. You guys can really see that. You guys can see it. Basically, it's a fire producer. 
Oh, that's dirty, dirty. Yeah, that's some pretty dirty. Then something I forgot to tell you guys, if you guys uh, want to protect your guys' investment, like if you guys get new rims and all this kind of stuff, um, what I recommend personally is like ceramic coating your rims. Before uh, if you guys get a new set of rims, before you install them, you can send it to a detailer and get it ceramic coated. What that does is protects basically all the brake dust that won't get stuck on the rim. Basically, it's like basically the ceramic coating will be protecting it. And just a break dust will just come off like butter, you know. Oh, nice. And yeah, so you got some really expensive wheels. That's a nice way to keep them clean. Yep. Keep it protected and lasting longer, you know, because rims are not cheap. They're pretty expensive. So right now, from experience, I'm going to tell you guys, do not leave, like, bird poop or anything like that. Like, because why? Because um, bird poop is acidic. And what happens is that basically, I've, 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 with my experience, I've seen, like, cars clear coat basically damaged because of leaving bird poop and that's just a little example if you guys are you guys see bird poop on your guys car make sure to take it off as soon as possible because it will eat up your paint yeah i got some bird so wash that off immediately as soon as we see some right or yeah. try to because try to wipe it off you know because you don't want that you know if you, if you leave it there and especially in summertime it will eat up or damage your clear coat then you're gonna have those weird white Stains and you're gonna wonder where they came from. Yeah, and then it's like you don't want to be wasting money, you know, repairing that, you know. So yeah, it's just you want to if you want to take care of your car, like if you're a curl over and all that kind of stuff, you know, make sure you guys take care of that. You know, you don't want to leave purple laying down right there. Just a little sample in there. Actually, there I'm gonna show you guys a chemical I use personally to remove all this kind of stuff. So right now I'm just gonna rinse it and get it ready, you know. Sweet. Alrighty. <laughs> And a quick little puff. As you guys can see right here, the, as you guys can see, there's flat water. That is an indication that there's no protection on the car. So right now, when when we finish this, uh, I'm probably gonna make you guys a little half and half, like 50/50, uh, right here demonstration of how it looks when it's protected and when it's not. So you're saying the water that gets stuck to the door, right? Yeah. Instead of just sliding yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. So right now, like basically, like this water. It's, this is like you see like the water gets stuck on it it's, yeah you can see the waves of yeah, it just waves going just, down yeah and it's just repelling uh, it's basically just sheeting off a little bit but you don't you want uh, it to fall off you know yeah you want it to it's look bead. like bubbles almost yeah. like beads beads yeah correct uh -huh. so as you guys can see it's not it's not protected so we're gonna i'm just gonna show you guys in a bit what, what it would look like what it would look like yeah So, right now I'm just going to be teaching you guys a little trick that I, that I got on my up my sleeve. Um, right here I got some APC. Uh, I use McGuire's APC cleaner. And what it does, I use it like a bug remover or whatever, you know. Just dilute it on um, when you use this kind of APC, just dilute it 1 to 4 or 1 to 10. It all depends on. If you're working on the interior, I recommend personally 1 to 10. And the exterior, sometimes you can use one of basically 1 to 5 or 1 to 4. Dilution ratio. Just a little example, and I'm just gonna teach you guys what it does. So, basically, me as a detailer, I want to prevent like me scratching the paint. So basically, what I do, I use this kind of things because I don't want to remove this with the, basically with the with the microfiber um, washing mitt because I'll potentially just grab it and start scratching the paint. You know. So what I do is grab this and just spray it off, and as you guys can see, it started to melt it. So it's starting to melt the whole thing, like the little bird poop. Or actually, I think that's a bug poop. Really. Like tree sap yeah, or like tree sap and all this kind of stuff. It does uh, for yeah, like tree sap to help it out a little bit. Um, oh, you yeah. can see how that thing's melting there. Yeah, you can see the melt as you guys can see. And then what you guys do, you know, you don't want to be touching the paint or grabbing this and having it in your wash and scratching it, you know. So now, <laughs> see, that thing went right off. Yeah. Easy, no stain. No stain, nothing, you know, just wash it off, you know. That's that's a pro tip 
that I could teach you guys. You know, I use your APC on basically this kind of bird poops and all this kind of stuff. And it's going to start melting it. Of course, you know, it all depends how long it has been there. But you guys can see it's starting to melt it right now as well over here too. So yeah, you know, just a little tip. It's going to help you out a lot in detailing so not cause any scratches. Yeah. And then where I live, it's like you have no choice but to park it underneath the tree. Oh yeah, true. So it kind of sucks for me, but uh, if you got my struggle, something like this is definitely gonna like help you out a lot. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's like tree sap is super bad for like basically all the tree sap, all this kind of stuff. It's really bad for your paint because it'll basically really etch yeah. the clear coat. But yeah, this is this is a solution. Like, well, you just grab a solvent, and basically any solvent, basically, it will melt it down and take it off as soon as possible. So what did you spray it down with? Uh, right now with basically some soap and it has to be a pH level has to be like so there's different kind of pH levels on soaps and you want to make sure that it's not a high al an alkaline because that is what could damage basically take out any protection that you have in your vehicle and you don't want that so this one's basically a pH neutral which is really nice for it because it's actually it's not on, on the high alkaline level which is super good for it you know because you want to keep your car protected and at least if you want to strip all the protection out to get a ceramic coat or you're going to polish a car, then I really recommend you guys to use a pH level that is high in alkaline so you guys can like strip off all the basic protection away from it. But right now this one's friendly so it's not going to strip off any protection or anything it has in it so we're just going to get it ready, we're going to clay it, but we're going to wash it right now and then from there we're going to start cleaning it too. Sweet! I use a cyclone uh, wash mitt. Cyclone so, wash mitt? Yeah. So it's super good because honestly, you'll feel the difference when, once you try it out. Because on other ones, like the Chanel wa uh, wash mitts, I don't like them because, you know, uh, they're like, it feels kind of rough on the paint. That's what I personally feel. Okay. These ones are super good for you because they're super soft. Once you touch it on the paint, it's super soft. And then uh, something I like to do, uh, I like to start from basically top to bottom. So I like to work on the, basically on the hood and then on the roof. The reason why is to get all the contaminants from the roof and the hood, you know. And then as well, do not be applying a lot of pressure or anything. Like that. You want to like just give it just a little quick one, you know. So right now I'm just going to wash the wrist again. So let's go. Get all the dirt out into this one. All the dirt, all the nasty stuff. It's going to stay over here. And for anyone who doesn't know, because I didn't know this before, but at the bottom of these buckets, he's got these little... They're called grid guards. Grid guards? Yeah. Uh, but pretty much they're like these little filters, and they're going to make sure that all the dirt ends up falling to the bottom of the bucket and doesn't come back up and get back on your rag, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So that's these things are actually super useful, because if you've ever tried to wash a car with just a bucket, you'll realize how dirty your water will get just from like wishing the water out but when you have one of these it, it really make it, re it can really help yeah it makes a difference the basic protection so you to see that water. i'm just gonna do this panel with the protection you guys are gonna see the difference and i'm gonna leave this one with no protection you guys are gonna see the big difference so i'm gonna add it on right now and then you guys are gonna see the big change so you're gonna see a lot of beating right now with this protection. Oh yeah, right away. <laughs> right away. So you have to see it beating up, which it indicates that it's protected. So what he's talking about is, I don't know if you can see it with this camera, but all of these little beads, they look like little water droplets. That's what you want. You want the water to turn into little droplets and kind of like spread out, um, not turn into this giant wall of water like this side it's just water glazed all over the fender here it's beat it up it's protected you can see the difference yeah. and then you have to beat it up over here and then over here you have to do a difference you see that no protection just the water just sticks flat on the surface 
And then right here, different, you know? Yep. And that'll protect like the dust. It does the same thing with the dust, right? It just yeah. kind of like, yeah, yeah, just exactly like lets it fly off. Yeah, like next time if, if he washes it by himself, like, um, you're gonna see the difference, you know, that the dirt is not gonna stick to the paint. Like you saw me adding chemicals right now. The water, the basically all this protection, we just basically, it's like a ceramic. This one's the SIO2 ceramic spray sealant. Tex 582, the one I use. And it's a ceramic infused. Um, spray protection that you can add on your vehicle and honestly i'm in love with this kind of stuff you know yeah i mean you didn't even have to do anything crazy yeah. you just sprayed it once washed it and you can tell the huge difference it made yeah just little just a little spray it takes you like two seconds you know you just wash it you're good your car's protected you know you're good you don't have to wax it right there with a little machine anymore <laughs> but yeah this basic technology it's getting bigger you know out there and it's making a big difference yeah saves you time and money yeah saves you time and money a little pro tip as well. Uh, I recommend you guys to dry off the basically the, the windows first, all the glass and all that kind of stuff. Because reason why you don't want it, you don't want to create um watermark. You know, I do the windows first on every vehicle when I do it. Either way, if it's even like filter water or deionized water, I still like to dry it up the window. You know, you, I don't I want to prevent any water spots from happening because that'll make my job faster and I won't be worrying about fixing that mistake later on, you know. So or missing it if you forget. forget. <laughs> so just get those windows clean, dry it out my bad. I'm actually gonna be working on the black trim. Get restored. The black trim? Yeah. Oh baby. So right now this seems looking like a brand new car. Like literally you could eat off of it. But he's gonna touch up this black trim because this scene looks almost as white as the car itself and i actually touched up the diffuser the other day with some mother's black polish um but he's gonna do a better job and finish that up for me right now i'm using ipa what ipa is is a solution of 50 50 with distilled water with alcohol basically the, the, I was say, you can smell it yeah you can smell the <laughs> alcohol and it's to prep basically the the surface it's getting all the oils off you're getting all the oils all that kind of Stuff that's stuck in it, so you guys can see. How is yeah? So it's all the oils that are bad. And then you just remove it with isopropyl alcohol to strip it off. So I'm just prepping it right now. So here's my black trim solar. I use solution finish. Sorry, solution finish. Yeah. So black trim restorer, as you guys can see. And how do you like it? Awesome, man. It works really good. Love it. Yeah, because other ones like if you use um any uh, the other ones that are in the market out there like walmart autozone also one wash two washes is already it's gone, gone yeah. yeah basically one wash i just get it one wash but yeah, <laughs> one, so one pressure one, washing yeah right? that's it so as you guys can see this one you have to shake it super shake vigorously yeah if you don't shake it then it's not gonna work you're watching me shake off <laughs> <laughs> So we want to get that so we shaked it now let's start adding it i'm gonna use a q-tip and the reason why it's a really small surface right there so you guys can see it's just bringing it back to life insanely different big difference you know? yeah you can see the huge difference yeah <laughs> even on the little camera yeah look <laughs> so you want to add it on and of course, some some of the stuff like if you leave it for a long time, like if it hasn't been restored or treated, you want to give it another pass later on. Okay, so check this out, glossy, right? And you get here. This is what the original looks like. This is what the restored looks like. And for the record, I tried to use um, Mother's Back to Black, oh, Black yeah. Restore, something like that. Yeah. I tried it, you guys. I know you guys on YouTube would love that stuff. I tried it. It did not absorb even the least bit of it. It, it did nothing. Absolutely nothing. And uh, right now you can see what Will put on. This thing looks like a brand new piece of rubber. Like, Yeah, it looks brand new. It, it really does look brand new. It's so insane. You, you could go on this one and you can check out the other part. Yeah, I'll show you the other side. It looked like this. Just super, super white. What made you decide to start detailing? 
Oh, you try to detail and you just love, you know, it's just a passion, you know, it's just a passion, you know, like, I don't really, like, do it for, like, yeah, I do it for the money, because I live by, by this, you know, but either way, like, I don't do it, like, for the money, it's just the passion that just grows in there, you know, because, yeah, there's, there could be detailers making, like, out there that don't have this passion, but, if, uh, like, eventually, they're just going to catch up to them, and they're not going to want to detail anymore, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, it, it's, it's not about the money, you know, I don't detail because of the money, that's not the main reason. But yeah, you know, it's just the love, you know, for vehicles, like, either way, I like people like that work on them and fix them up, do a lot of mods and all those kind of stuff. That's pretty cool. I love to watching those videos. I wish I could do all those kind of stuff, but I can't. <laughs> I love detailing. I like fixing up the paint. That's your thing. That's my thing, you know, and then like, as well as watching the difference, you know, uh, restoring a car that it was damaged or didn't basically, customer didn't treat it good or anything, like that, you know. Yeah, giving it that life back and back to back again, you know. Yeah. That's I guess that you know I just started with that, you know. That's awesome, dude. Started with a passion, just a lot of passion, you know, that I put on every card at a detail. Just I just put all my my effort, my love on them, you know. I treat them as they were mine. I think that's that's the most important stuff, you know. Treating them as you want. As your own, right? Yeah, as your own, yeah. That's, that's the difference. Yeah, and there's so many different kinds of car guys. So like, the fact that you you like to detail is. It's yeah. cool and it's selling, you know? Yeah, you, you that's know. your niche, your thing. There's, there's mechanics and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mechanics, wrappers, yeah. or uh, custom fabrication and whatnot. Custom fabrication, uh, people that install window tents, you know, all this kind of stuff. The sound systems. The sound system. It's art, you know? At the end of the day, it's art. Yeah, <laughs> it's your own, uh, whatever you want to contribute to it. Yeah. And I like to make fun videos on YouTube for you guys to watch. <laughs> Will's over here doing an insane job. The car looks new now. Got the new headlights, the new trim. Yeah, from there we're just gonna do a plate. It does, it does need to. You might think it's, right now you might think it's, it's clean, clean, clean. But I, I don't know, I'm just gonna do a test piece and let's see if it's really clean or if it's not. Because a wash will like, will not take away all the contaminants that are already like embedded to the clear cloth. A wash when I'm like get it off, you know, you will need to clean it as well. You know, we get black, an example, we get blackheads, uh, we have to basically use a mask and then take it off, you know. Same thing is the same thing, you know. On it's the like paint. exfoliating the paint, exfoliating paint, you know, exfoliating your, as a, your, your pores, your pores, and all this kind of stuff. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing on this. Sweet, adding the tire shine, making it nice and shiny, nice and shiny. Right now what I'm gonna tell my boy Jason before he leaves to basically back up a little bit so I can get the area that I can touch up right now because uh, the front, the, basically the weight is falling on one side so you make sure if you add a tire shine to go all the way, you know, <laughs> around. Oh, so you're gonna have an empty spot? Yeah, you're gonna have an empty spot. You know, it almost happened to me one time. So right here, it's not dirty anymore. It's not even dirty, you know. So what happens here when when you don't have protection, you don't have any tire shine on your ass, it's all rubber on the tires. What is this thing is called, it's called tire blooming. Yeah, I, I can see some signs of it. Let's say it's kind of rust or oxidation that happens on the tires if you don't add uh, tire shine or protection on it. Oh, it gives it that brown look? Yeah, it gives you the brown look and you don't want that, you know, because it makes it look like dirty, you know, when it's not dirty, it's just, uh, it just gets rust or oxidation that is now that it's penetrated to the tire, you know. And just add the protection, you know, all the time. And if you guys don't like um, shiny, you can always uh, just grab a towel and take it away. Uh, grab a towel, just take it off, you know? Oh, and so it doesn't have to be shiny. Yeah, it doesn't have to be shiny. You can, if, you like, if you're somebody that likes a mat or a little bit, uh, I guess, just a little protected, you can just grab a rack and then from there, just take it off. Just a little bit, you know? Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be someone here who doesn't like the shiny. Yeah. I had a client, a customer actually told me to just like get a looking mat which I did you know yeah give what the customer wants you know give them that the best the best service and then as well something that I recommend is always respecting respecting um and having a good com communication you know, with your customers because if not that's something that's gonna nobody's gonna want to work with you you're like stubborn or <laughs> your ego's too much you know and you don't want to talk to nobody just yeah, that's communication right. is huge anywhere. Yeah, yeah, big time, big time. You want to grow your business, you want to communicate, you know, talk to the customer, you know, don't just do it for the money, you know, you want to, everybody has, like, a bad moment, you just want to cheer them up too, you know? 
talk to them, you know, that's something I've learned over the, the years, you know, communicating is important, communication. Yep. Sweet. Got a new clay bar. Got some new, new clay bar, my boy got some new, the new new. Lucky boy, you know, <laughs> let's treat him good. So, just leaving that over there. So you guys can see these ones have three. Which I'm gonna use one for basically cleaning the, his car. You can use half of it. Um, it'll last you like a good amount, you know. And especially, well, it all matters if like if the people, if the person takes care of his car, like you only need half. But if it hasn't been cleaned, you're probably using you the, whole the whole thing. thing. Yeah. And all the contaminants get stuck to the clay, right? Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. So you guys can see it's like white. White grayish kind of. One thing, do not drop the clay bar. It's like don't drop the soap. <laughs> do not drop the clay bar. That's one thing. You know? If you drop the, the <laughs> clay bar, you're done. You're, you drop the clay bar, you're done. So don't drop the clay bar. You know, make sure that you guys um, take um, good care of it. You know, you don't want to drop it because this thing will pick up anything that falls in the ground. You know, like little rocks or little things, and put, you have to put it in the trash. Yeah, because if uh, you rub it on the car after that, it yeah. scratches it, right? It scratches it, yeah. Right now it's kind of a little bit rough, not that much. It's right. got some spots where it still has some. Yeah, some, and then my, I heard that he's going to get it on vinyl wrap. So one one important thing, if you're going to ins be installing a, a vinyl wrap or a PPF film, um, you don't want to get um, ceramic, uh, you don't want to get it ceramic coated. If you have more, well, I think the, major, the only problem is with PPF, if you have ceramic coating, it will not like stick to it, you know. Oh, it's gonna. Yeah, it's gonna basically the ceramic coating creates all the water beads, and they, they use like soapy solutions and water, so to be, be able to work with it, that basically that protection will just repel the water, and they would uh, they'll have a difficult time trying to install even install yeah, it. Yeah, yes, installing the the PPF. So yeah, for your clay bar, and then as well your panel, because right now we're working on the sunlight. You want to add a lot, you know. Because you don't want this thing to be sticking. Uh, you want to clay bar it. Honestly, I feel it right now. That there's not a lot of contamination, but either way, we want to get it prepped. You know, yeah, we're gonna add some protection on it. But you guys saw it's like grayish, so now you guys can see a little bit of the contaminants. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the dirt getting stuck on there. Yeah, so I washed it. You might you might think you know it's already clean, but it, it's not. The contaminants are already like embedded, so you want a clay bar to to be able to grab those contaminations. The clay bar is kind of acting like glue and getting everything stuck to it? Yeah, correct. Exactly. Tons of lube. Tons of lube. You know, you don't want this thing to be marring the paint. You want to go just side to side. Marring is when the clay is getting stuck to the paint because it's so rough? Yeah, it gets all rough and then as well it just creates like a little like, I can say like a little hollow, hollow hologram. Okay. On, on, the, on the paint, you don't want that, you know? Especially if you can notice that this most of the like if you create a a Mari, you can see more like a black cars, black vehicles, mm. reds, like some sort of haze or yeah, something. Haze. Yeah, like a little haze, exactly. So right here, you know, we prepped it. It wasn't that bad contamination. What the the majority of the contamination mostly happens on the, the the majority of them happens on the hood and on the roof of the car. You know, kind of like we're taking all the air. Yeah, basically, yeah, exactly. And because basically it's more exposed to to the, all the elements, the industrial fallout, bird poop, all this kind of stuff that is bad for the paint. You want to get it clay, you know. And as well, you keep it, you know, smooth. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm sure, like after you clean it, this feels insanely smooth. Yeah, and then as well, you know, it's super cool because it's it's probably smoother than the baby's butt, you know. <laughs> yeah, you seen those movies where the person slides on the roof? Yeah, there like, you go. <laughs> exactly like that. We could literally do that if we wanted. Yeah, so my boy William just got done clean the whole car. This thing is baby butt smooth. The roof, everything, all decontaminated. Meaning it's gonna last cleaner for a lot longer because there's not so much dirt for the dirt to cling on to. So he's got the graphene ceramic coating. And we're gonna be applying it to the headlights. To the headlights. So you wanna get it on nice and you have to shake it a little bit, you know, to get all the the graphene around it. So just do the drops. Make sure you get it all like good. 
And I used it because you know it just gives it could go on any surface actually. Oh, it's good for good for any surface. So, like this one, I'm just gonna be applying it on the on the hood. On the mammy, I mean the headlights, and you can see it's easy. And then as well, you just, just want to be careful not getting it on the paint because it's not gonna get a ceramic coated. Maybe later on in the future, I never know. My boy Jason <laughs> might come one day and tell me, "Hey, ceramic coated, you know." Ceramic coat this thing. Yeah. Probably gonna go visit him when he gets a, a different vehicle, a new one. Yeah, That's when we get that, that new Audi, we're definitely getting ceramic coating. Yeah, there you go. I'll fly over there and let's go. Let's go get a ceramic coating. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get a ceramic coating. And this is a good way to practice how to ceramic coat because it's not pain. It's not gonna do anything like ice spots in there, like, like in a pain, you know? So, right now, I'm just letting it like. Get inside there. Work with penetrate. It, penetrate, yeah. And it is an easy wipe on and wipe off. So from there, I'm just gonna use this rack and just wipe it off. Wipe it off. So simple, you know. And that's gonna keep them looking like looking new good. for a while. Yeah, because eventually, you know, the sun, the UV rays are gonna damage it and there is some damage from the inside that's what I noticed right now with we're talking to Jason we noticed that the sun beat it up from the inside too which the outside we do restore it just the inside of the headlight and already it's already damaged yeah it's, it must have some holes somewhere in the casing um, yeah. but unfortunately some of the dust and stuff has already penetrated and kind of damaged the the plastic cover so but the outside looking like brand new yeah the outside looking like brand new you know so, so now let's do this size. And then there's something, there's actually something new that's gonna come into Beast Auto Detail. I'm gonna be working with a self-healing ceramic coating. It's gonna be coming in around later on this around this month or probably next month. Yeah, I'm gonna ask him to send me a video because that video was crazy. When I saw it on his story, I replied to it and I was like, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Why would you do that? And then I saw the next video, which is where he's healing it, and yeah. Just wait, I'll put it right here. Yeah. Bam. Anybody that's interested in the San Diego area, North County, I'm a, you guys could hit me up and we could set you guys up with a ceramic coating self healing. Which, um, ex explaining, like uh, Jason was saying, like, this I could scratch the vehicle from the, basically the paint just for like a little amount of surface, you know. Uh, or imagine you take it to a car wash, it scratches it. The sun will self heal there, you know. So that's something pretty cool that's coming in to Beast Auto Detail, a new service, you know. So, yeah. Available at Beast Auto Detail, you guys. Follow me, you know. You'll, you'll see the cool stuff and then cool tips and tricks. And if you're a detailer, you can follow me too. I'll show you guys some other tricks and uh, tips and tricks out there. And yeah. So uh, this is already ceramic coated. Yeah, ceramic coated the headlights, clay barred the whole car. Tired? Tired, man. It's, I mean, I love it. Honestly, I'm proud of the results. Uh, I hooked up my boy, you know, he got his headlight res restored, paint, clayed, and all stuff. And honestly, it came out looking beautiful. And I've been getting blind because of how bright it is right now, how clean it is, you know? Yeah, no, I, I'm here hiding in the shade because stepping out here is with the reflection from the car it, it, it hurts but he did an insane job i mean he's still working on it but thoroughly impressed with every little detail the wheels are all super clean headlights look brand new no watermarks nothing he's on his on his game and then if you guys saw what the trim looked like on the roof earlier that thing was booty mm -hmm. it looked like someone had grabbed some white paint and just kind of like did a layer over it um but right now he's he's doing a second pass but just on this first pass it already looks like if we had laid a new strip of vinyl i mean of a rubber so it, it's a world of difference the headlights not being foggy yellow just changes the whole look of the car as well yeah that that in itself is like that makes a huge difference yeah Big humongous time. definitely happy so yeah the finishing touches on the window what are you using for the windows oh so this is a technique i should have posted up on tiktok I have right here ONR optimum no rinse. Basically, this is what I use for the windows. So what I do, I just grab it. Imagine if I'm doing it 
just grab like a little half a cap yeah half a cap and then just put it with um distilled water make sure you guys are using distilled water when you guys apply it and just fill it up and this thing will leave you with no streaks you guys could check it out on tiktok and as well we're going to be posting that one up right there yeah yeah i'll post it right here he's gonna send them over and then yeah. we'll cut the video and cut it back in so yeah just just that and this one will give you like uh finish with no streaks because sometimes when you clean glass it can give you a pain in the butt because it could give, like, give you some streaks on it so i say when you're doing it in the sun too it's yeah, faster no yeah then from there like yeah it's just a pain in the butt to clean windows <laughs> it's just one of the but what? i found the solution because i was like you know i was like one day i was like you know what i'm gonna find a way to get that perfect finish and i got it with optimum no rinse and distilled water you'll get good results that's a, some some wisdom tricks of the trade yeah there you go boy will just finished paint is looking extremely pearly you can see all the little glitter on it no watermarks everything's looking perfect trim looking restored glossy black no longer that white haze that was on it wheels even with all the curb rash looks new yeah you did an amazing job thank you dude you're welcome you're welcome you killed it yep and we're gonna be working on this car a lot, a lot more <laughs> there's um we're gonna be making another video um basically on the glass something i uh, told them we're gonna be making a video on basically how to basically take away all the scratches that you see on the surface as you can see right here there's a lot of scratches yeah so the the glass has a couple like rock chips sorry i know you just want i'm sorry i'm like messing up your work i'm sorry but yeah there's a lot of like little rock chips that come on and they'll hit it so he's gonna help me get rid of some of those teach me as well because i'm learning too yeah so yeah we restored the, the black trim got restored um we took a lot of brake dust away from the grams and then as well you know the basically the headlights got restored and then you guys saw me ceramic coat them yeah so there's a lot of steps that we did to it today um I, I took a long time because we were like just making videos making shots for you guys then as well we were, we're, just, we're just gonna be making more content you know in this car we're gonna actually be doing a lot of stuff to it yeah also like if you're paying to get this done just know that it's super time consuming for them being to having to go in there and like actually hit all the details and find all the little stuff that you want taken care of that thing takes time it's, you're not going to get this done in 30 minutes or yeah you got to be patient you it's it's a lot of, a lot i repeat a lot of work and just like what they do is is i'm super thankful yeah, yeah it's it's insane yeah, and as well, you know, it's just uh, a lot of details that goes to it, you know, and as well, we, we want to give you guys that quality and the money you guys pay for that, basically. We want to give we want to give you guys that quality and as well, that protection on you guys' car, too. And I know some of you guys are busy. All of you guys are, like, you know, just working, grinding, you know, and you guys forget about your guys' car. We're here to help you guys out, too, you know. And feel free to hit me up. And as well, thank you, Jason, for coming in. Three minutes go, you know. I'm going to be rocking that, uh, that shirt. Next video that's gonna come out, I'm gonna be rocking that shirt. Hell yeah. But yeah, I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you, Will, here and here. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it, brother. I'm super happy. Um, like, really am with the car. The car looks amazing. I'm telling you, I, I'm a terrible, 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 terrible car owner. I'm like the worst person to take care of a car's exterior just because it's, it's not something that I'm good with. I struggle with it a lot. So just him taking some some of the time too to like teach me a little bit of what these chemicals do and how to apply them and all that. All I'm super thankful for that. I'm sure you guys are super thankful too for anyone else who doesn't really know. Um, and yeah, just feel free to hit him up. He's super, super knowledgeable, super responsible. If you ever need your car taken care of or if you got a question, like you're trying to do something on your own, um, he's not going to judge you. He's, he's a really good friend. He'll go out of his way, if anything, to... Uh, answer your questions and help you start off on the right foot so yeah I mean check this thing out the work speaks for itself you cannot uh, we could eat all this thing yeah. <laughs> yeah thank you Will you're welcome man appreciate it thank you guys for joining us today and then as well you know give us each a follow you know yeah and as well I'm gonna be posting more content on my social media 
some ceramic coatings I've been doing and all this kind of stuff. A lot of things that you guys might have questions as well. Like uh, Jason was saying, you guys can hit me up. And thank you guys, you know, I appreciate you guys for this. This is my first video. Kind of, I was kind of nervous here and there, you know, but honestly, thank you guys for joining us today. Yeah. Thank you. See you guys. And yeah, this is what the channel's about. Pretty much just get out there, do it, teach some people, learn some stuff, and just keep going, get some stuff done. And yeah, let's go.